And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Yeah, look, bro, we got Tony Jaw best fight scenes clip compilation. If y'all don't know who Tony Jaw is, because y'all might have clicked this, like, who's Tony Jaw? J Tony Jaw. Tony Jaw. He um, he's a Muay Thai artist, uh, who like basically became famous in like the mid two thousands here in America. And like some of his movies, especially the first Hong Bak, uh, and the Protector. Um, those are two movies that y'all need to watch. Terrible scripts. The stories are terrible, but he's like messing people up and doing it with like lethal elbows and knees because that's what um, Muay Thai is really based on is just using your elbows, using Muay Thai plumes, using your knees to like damage your opponents. And he, yo, matter of fact, I need to rewatch The Protector because there's a scene where he's basically, um, it, it, and the scene was shot all like all at once with no cuts in like 12 minutes he went through this whole building and wound up cleaning up like two like a good 200 dudes y'all have to watch those videos the protector and the first on bak on bak 2 is like on bak and the and the and the first protector like you know what i'm saying he's keeping the legacy going of you know the brute started with bruce lee jackie chan jet lee tony ja is right there with him um, he doesn't have as many movies, uh, or as many movies that I know of that came out here in America, but you know what I'm saying? Like oof, he held it down for Muay Thai and he actually wound up being in, um, Fast and the Furious 7. He was the one that kept fighting Paul Walker, RIP Paul Walker. Um, he's the one that kept fighting Brian. He fought Brian on the truck and they fought in the um, in that parking lot but yeah like button subscribe and notification bell press those let's go <laughs> <laughs> Breaking stuff he does that in all his moves. Yo, and the thing about him is that he likes to do his, the, the fight scenes, he does them like all at once. So like all of this is not really being cut. Like he's doing it all in one take, um, which you know, like your stamina got, got to be crazy. Like you got to have the crazy cardio to just continue to, you know what I'm saying? Perform at that level. Like he's no joke. It's funny that looks it, 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 that looks like something that would happen in like Dragon Ball Z, like um, when Goku put like his elbow into somebody's chest. I, I forgot if it was Nappa or Raccoon or whoever, and then you just see his like body shatter and like one hit. You know what I'm saying? Laid out. Yeah, this is young. This this is when he's younger too, cause um, 
I, 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 after the protector, like he wound up gaining weight. <laughs> Yo, he'd be perfect in a Mortal Kombat movie. He'd be perfect. But, I mean, he this was like, you know, Onbok 2 was 2008. Um, the first Onbok was like 05, 06. So, you know, we all talking like 13 years later. <laughs> Like that that was always my beef, but it, I mean I guess pause. Um was that, you know, they went from being race car drivers. I, I like I like the first the first seven for Fast and the Furious movies. Anything after that miss me with it. But um but like it, it's like yo, how did these guys that just went from being race car drivers all of a sudden they like defeating martial artists? Now this this could be realistic because you know, um you know, Tony Jai isn't Tony Jai in the movie. He's just a goon. And Brian was a federal agent, so he should be trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So this is realistic, but there's some parts to these to, to the Fast and the Furious movies. <laughs> Who wants to see Ludacris and Tyrese in outer space? I didn't even know there was a kill zone move. Got it on the part two. Maybe this isn't kill zone. I was thinking of the, of the game. <laughs> Even though he's older now, you can still see that he still has that athleticism. Now, I, I really hope that there's a, a, a clip from the protector here. <laughs> Oh yeah, he loves hitting people on the top of the head with helmet. Ah, 
uh, you kind of telegraph that kick. <laughs> That that wasn't good. That that was not good. seeing fight scenes like this because it's bro like it's, it should be one versus one like i don't want to see i'm assuming that he's the bad guy like nah come on man it should be one v one <laughs> Y'all get to see what, what's the next video I'm going to react to. Chant. That last fight scene. I spent the whole video hyping them up to, to watch some bullshit at the end. That was some bullshit. Um, the Protector Ongbok. Watch those. But yeah, man. Let me know what y'all thought of the video in the comment section. My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. Wait for it. Dab on him.